Hi guys, this is Bosa and in today's video I'll be showing you how I wash my hair from start to finish using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Line. So first I hop into the shower and run some warm water all over my hair. My hair is twisted up just because I like to wash my hair in twists that way it doesn't shrink up as much. As also from detangling my hair, if you would like to see how I detangle my hair, click the eye above. When my hair is well circulated, I take my shampoo. I'll link all the products I used in this video in the description box. I apply a generous amount to my palms and then using my fingertips, I apply that directly to my scalp. Now because this is a hydrating shampoo, I did not need to pre before using it. I just work the lather down the length of my hair. And usually when I wash my hair with the first round of shampoo, it doesn't lather up as much. Just because there's a lot of product sitting on my hair from the wig. And I don't use my fingernails, I just use my fingertips to gently clean my scalp. When I find any twists that might have unraveled due to the weight of the water, I just twist those back up. I do this for about 4 to 5 minutes and when I'm done, I rinse all the products out of my hair now taking that same shampoo I apply a generous amount again to my scalp I don't apply any shampoo to the length of my hair just because when the leather works its way down it will get your hair clean anyway now this time my hair does lather up much more better and I would use this time to work the lather down the length of my hair I also like to pay close attention to the parameters of my hair just because when I wear gels I tend to put most of them around my edges Then I take my handy dandy deep conditioner and then rub a twist and then I gently finger detangle. Now I do spend a lot of time on wash day detangling just because it's the only time during the week I detangle. I take a damn size amount of deep conditioner, apply that to my hair. This deep conditioner is the bomb dickity. It will leave your hair feeling very moist and soft. I take a wide tooth comb, comb through the section and twist it back up. If your natural deep conditioner is your friend, if you want to see hair growth or thicken your hair, deep conditioner is your best friend. So I do that for all the twists. I unravel a twist, finger detangle, apply some deep conditioner and finger detangle some more. Then taking a wide tooth comb, I comb through the section and twist it back up when I'm done with all the twists I apply some deep conditioner on top of them and then I take my plastic bag and throw that on top of my hair just because I don't really own a shark cup I tend to lose them anyway so I'm not trying to spend money on something I'm going to lose Then take a cotton t-shirt and use that to cover my hair to create a heat effect kind of thingy. I let my deep conditioner sit for about 10 to 15 minutes while I go on with my shower. And when I'm done, I take off my shower cup slash plastic bag and t-shirt <laughs> and then rinse out the products for my hair. Now because I'm low porosity and I do have a lot of hair, I will spend a lot of time on wash day rinsing and squeezing products out of my hair.
when I feel like all the product is fairly over I squeeze out the excess water and then take my t-shirt from before throw it on top of my hair to drain out any water my hands might have missed I then take this conditioner by sheer moisture still apply a generous amount and throw that on top of my hair I like to apply my conditioner while I'm still in the shower on days when I'm not sure if I'm going to style my hair immediately that way my hair doesn't dry out as much if you follow me on Instagram you've seen this shea butter it's by Donella I think this is the peach shea butter I apply that on top of my twists as well and when I'm done this is what my hair looks like it's bouncy and clean if you'd like to see how I style my hair please turn your notification bells on so that you don't miss my next one thanks for watching